part two, go. Okay, um, so I just realized that you're not allowed to do screencasts longer than five minutes unless you pay for it. And I'm not paying for it. So uh, lesson learned for next time. There will not be two screencasts next time. There will only be one. I'll just make sure I talk faster than I'm talking now. Um, again, we should be in the whole school. Carrie Downey course. We should be in the third grade folder. And we're working in ELA today. <clears throat> now, I went over in the first screencast the work we're doing in Frindle. Storytown is going to be much um, less work. You're going to be reading one story a week. You'll see there's four more stories that have not been published yet. The first story we're going to be working on is Lan Popo, which is a Chinese version of Little Red Riding Hood. Now, my guys, most of you should have your Storytown books. If you don't, it's fine. You can click on where it says page 21. Do, 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 do. And it's going to take its sweet time because, as we've learned in the last screencast, my internet is very slow. Do, 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 do. And it says page 21. That tells you what page the story starts on. So all you have to do is go down here to the page number, click 21. Ta-da! Lan Popo. And this is how you change pages. And you've got the story right here. And when you want to hear the story, you push play. Once, there long you. ago, there was a woman who lived alone in the country with her three children, Shang. Now, you do not have to listen to it if you don't want to. You can make the text a little bit bigger, and you can read it by yourself. If you feel like this is a little too difficult for you and you want to listen to it, that is perfectly fine. So once you're done listening to the story, you've got two assignments. Number one is vocabulary. Take each six of the vocabulary words from Lan Popo and use them in sentences that make sense below. Remember to use capital letters, punctuation, and proper grammar when writing. Reread your sentences to make sure they make sense. You do not have to do all the work that you did for Frindle. You don't have to do synonyms or antonyms or definitions. All you need to do is use the six words in normal sentences that make sense. Um, the vocabulary words are listed uh, just before the story. There's six of them. And you can do that. This, this is a discussion board. You can do it right down here. And then the questions. Just like Frindle, these questions are located in Google. You're going to make a copy of the document. You're going to answer the questions for Lan Popo when they load. Three questions here. And then you're going to submit them into Schoology. And then that's it. Those are your assignments um, for language arts for this week, for that I have, for me. Um, you're going to be reading the first three chapters of Frindle, and you're going to be working in Storytown. Miss Burt is going to be working on poetry, Miss McLean mythology. Um, so we're going to have a good chunk of ELA that we need to get done this week. There are also writing prompts that were a little confusing because I listed a bunch that said day one, day two, day three, day four. And then I listed the ones for April 6th that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of day one through five because that confused people. So do one writing prompt a day, um, and you're going to need to do two or three sentences for each one. Just share your opinion on things. And that, third grade, is all I got for you. Um, I hope you didn't mind looking at my beautiful face for 10 minutes this morning. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody when we do our lesson. And if you need help, please don't be afraid to come uh, into office hours for myself or Ms. McLean or Ms. Holt. They are listed in the Zoom meetings folder. Love you guys. Bye.